Hey Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to explain about a program to check whether a given number is a Armstrong or not. So the number is Armstrong when a cube of all the digits of that particular number uh, is equal to and when we'll sum up that, then that will be equal to the given number. Okay, so uh, let's see. So here we have 153. So um, this is a prime number because if we'll sum up that, uh, some cubes of that particular number, then uh, that will be equal to that number. Okay, so if we'll say one, uh, one cube is one, then five, five cube is uh, 125 and three cube is uh, 27. So if we'll sum up that, then we'll get 153. Okay, so we can say that given 53 is a prime number. Okay, so similarly for this, uh, this is also a prime number. So now let's write a program to check whether a given number is a prime number or not. So let's take uh, 153 and uh, store it in the variable called n. Okay, so now uh, what we'll say, what we'll do, we'll create one uh, answer variable. Okay, and uh, one more, uh, one more variable we need, but at the end, we, I will explain you why we need that variable. Okay, so now let's. Uh, uh, take one while loop okay and uh, we will say uh, while n is not equal to 0 so okay so not equal to 0 uh, so when n will be 0 then we will stop our while loop okay I will explain the logic later okay so now what we can do uh, we want to a cube this last uh, all the digits okay so what we can do we can just take uh, last digit and then we'll do the same thing for that uh, whole number okay so I'll just take a last digit and store it into the uh, I variable so how we can find the last digit of the number so we can just say n modulo 10 okay so that will give me a last digit of the number then what I can do I can just say answer is equal to answer plus I, uh, I want to power uh, I want to cube that particular uh, digit okay so I, I can use a inbuilt function of Python which is POV uh, and uh, I can say I comma 3 so that will uh, cube that will give a cube of that particular number and we'll just add that number to our answer variable and then what we can do we also uh, want to remove this number and we just want this uh, as our n okay so now we can say n is equal to n divided by 10 okay so that is the thing and then if we print answer then we'll have the answer as 153 so let's run this program okay so yeah as you can see we got 153 but one more bug is here if I'll print n, okay. If I'll print n, then let's run the program again. Then is uh, sorry, not n, small n. It is capital n. Okay. So, as you can see, we got zero. Okay. That that's me. That means we have overridden that particular variable into our program. So uh, to restrict that what we can do uh, at first we can just assign that particular variable uh, into temp variable okay uh, temp is equal to n and then we can use temp everywhere instead of n we can just use temp okay and then at the end we can just uh, uh, take some if conditions uh, so if uh, n is equal to equal to answer then we can say then we can just print uh, number number is armstrong okay okay else we can say not armstrong okay so let's run our program uh, as you can see 153 is a Armstrong number and if I'll say fifth uh, 46 let's run the program again and as you can see we got not Armstrong number 
so that's what about this uh, i hope you like the video uh, thank you guys and i'll see in the next video bye bye